guys, it's Cami. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create SVG files for your Cricut Explorer. In this DIY tutorial, I will teach you how to save tons of money by recreating overpriced designer graphic tees. To start things off, I'm going to head over to one of my favorite designer websites and see if I can find a toddler tee I would like to make. This tee is adorable, but there is no way I can pay $105 for it. So now that I found the tee that I would like to make, all I'm going to do next is click on it and see if it will enlarge enough for me to take a screenshot. I'll be using Adobe Illustrator to create the SVG. First, drag and drop your screenshot and duplicate it. Next, go to Object and Image Trace. Next, we'll need to open up your image trace settings, which can be found under Window at the top of the program. Under Image Trace Settings on the right, we'll be changing your mode to color. And you'll need to count how many colors is in the original image until the image shows correctly. Perfect, now it's time to expand your image. Click on Object and click Expand and click OK. Next, I'm using the white arrow to select and delete the background. Simply watch what I do on the screen to make all the shades of brown the same. As I zoom out, I can tell it's looking pretty close to the original design. However, I'm not a fan of the outline going around the bear, so I'm going to use my black arrow selection tool to actually remove this outline. Although this process is very tedious, the results make it worth it. Now it's time to use a new tool. Grab the erase tool from the toolbar and carefully erase along the edge of the bear. Don't worry if it's not perfect. We're gonna come back in with the smooth tool and get a rounder edge. As I zoom out, I notice a beige color that I need to remove between the inner circles of the O. Now select one section of the bear and then go to select, same, fill, and stroke color. This is the most important process to create your SVG layers for Cricut. Right now, I'm selecting and deleting all the pieces that I don't want the Cricut to cut.
Next, move on to a different color section of the bear and repeat the process. So this part is totally up to you, but since I know a font that's very similar to their logo, I'm going to go ahead and change the font. If you decide to recreate the logo like I did, make sure the text is the same color as the bear above it. Since I have all of this selected, I'm going to go ahead and make it a compound path. Now I'm just going to take time to put all of the color layers back in place. Remember to make sure you make each layer its own compound path. Don't mind me, I'm just going to fix this edge real quick because I'm a perfectionist. So this last step here is pretty much an advanced tool. I'll be using the pen tool to actually trace around the bear. Feel free to skip this step if you'd like. By creating the trace around the bear, it's actually going to allow me to bring back the dotted lines. Please let me know in the comments below if you would like a video of me showing you more in depth how to use the pen tool. While I continue tracing this image, I wanted to let you guys know that my mom and I own a children's clothing line called Baby Truth. We would love for you guys to check it out. If you look at the description below, you can receive 10% off your first purchase with a special coupon code and our website is babytruthcollection.com. Hope you like our designs. Now that I'm done, we're going to offset this line by going to Object Path and Offset Path. Next, select the outer stroke, then select your eyedrop tool, and then select the brown inside the bit. Next, open up your stroke window so we can play around with the strokes and the dotted line settings. Now that you have your outside dotted line, you can get rid of the inner trace line that you first created by selecting and hitting Delete. Since we're finished, you can delete your screenshot. Next, click on your layers window to make sure each color is their own compound path. 
All right, we finished. Now it's time to go to File and Save Your SVG. Okay, so now that your SVG file is saved, it's time to upload your design into Cricut Design Space. If your file was created correctly, you should be able to look at your layers and see each individual color grouped as its own layer. Just realize that you won't be able to move each individual color layer until it's ungrouped. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this SVG tutorial and I hope it saves you a lot of money.